Hi, thank you for joining me for my first Insta TV video. I'm making this post in response to a comment made by the real life midwife who suggested that I explain the embryo grading system, which is a fantastic idea. So stay tuned and I'll explain the embryo grading system. So today I'm going to talk about grading of an embryo in an IVF cycle. At Melbourne IVF we use the Gardner grading system, like most IVF laboratories in the world, and it's a grading system describing the blastocyst, which is an embryo that we put back on day 5 after ovulation or egg collection. Now the Gardner system is named by Professor David Gardner, who is a scientific director at Melbourne IVF. Now the Gardner system it has three components and it describes the appearance of an embryo, so the morphological assessment under a microscope. The first component is a number from 0 to 6 and it tells me the stage of development. So when an egg and a sperm get together, it fertilizes into one single cell. That cell then divides into two cells and two cells divide into four cells and four into eight and so on. Until a few days later, there's so many cells that they're starting to compact and squish into each other so we can no longer count the individual cells. And that's when it's called a morula. Then the morula will start developing a cavity inside and the cavity will start to expand. At the appearance of the cavity is when we start calling the embryo a blastocyst. Now when we see the cavity appear, that's stage zero. The cavity will start to expand and it moves along stage one, two, three, until stage four when it's fully expanded. Stage five is when the embryo starts hatching out of its shell and stage six is when the blastocyst has completely hatched out of its shell right before implantation. The second part of the grading system is a letter between A and C and it describes the inner cell mass of the embryo. The inner cell mass is the part of the embryo that develops into the baby. It tells us the number of cells, how it's sitting together and what it looks like under a microscope. A being the best, B being fair, C being poor. The third part of the embryo grading system describes the trophectoderm, which is the part of the embryo that eventually attaches to the uterus. It also ranges between A to C, A being the best, being the poorest. So the grading system is used to describe to us what an embryo looks like under the microscope at a particular point in time. What we like to see is an embryo to grow along an expected trajectory at a standard speed so that ideally on day five of its life it is at stage 4a, a, meaning it's a ex fully expanded blastocyst with lots of cells in the inner cell mass and lots of cells in the trophectoderm. And we find that those embryos tend to give us the highest potential for implantation. But that doesn't mean that a slower growing or faster growing embryo won't implant either, but they just may have a slightly lower potential. Now what I went through is a very simplified look at how to describe an embryo with our Gardner grading system. But it's a lot more complicated than that. With more advanced technologies now like Embryoscope where we get to use time-lapse camera looking at the embryo 24 hours a day, we get to see different things now. We get to see the behavior of the cells as they divide. We get to see how they divide if they're excluded cells and very interesting behaviors that was not observed before. And all of this can be interpreted by experienced embryologists or even more advanced by artificial intelligence to help us interpret the best embryo to put back first into the uterus. And this is one of the more exciting advancements in technology in IVF. So I hope this helps you the next time you see a grading of an embryo to understand what we are describing. Thank you for joining me. Bye.